If you've worked with SQL, you've grown accustomed to SQL books online being included and installed along with the application. Well, that's no longer true. And so if you go up here to help and you try to view help, you're going to notice that there is no SQL books online. And if you go out and look in all your start documents and your uh, start menu, you're not going to find it there either. And so we're going to talk here about how you can grab a hold of SQL books online and get it where you can grab it quick. Now you can find it online. And I want to show you first that if you have an internet connection, you can click on help. Notice I'm in the SQL Server Management Studio. Click on help and then go to manage help settings. And this will ask you, do you want to choose online or local help? Or do you want to install content from online? So I can click on this install content from online and it will go through and look at the products that are on my machine that might need some help content. And then I can choose from a link right here exactly what to go out there. And notice I'm not connected to the network. If I had been connected to the network, you would see all the various products and things that I could download. And SQL Books Online would be one of those. And I could just download it to my machine. And then I could go back in here, click on online or local help and tell it I want to use local help. Well, notice when I change this and hit OK, it takes me right back to this window. So I want to use local help and I don't want to have to connect to the Internet. All right. So what I'm going to do is exit this. I'm going to show you. I went out to Microsoft's website, did some searching, and I went out and downloaded SQL Server 2012 documentation. OK, and there's the full name of it and its English version. And so now what I want to do is install this on my local machine. So I'll just double click this and it's going to say, where do you want to put this? OK, and I'm going to browse to right there where I am. I'm going to go to libraries, documents, and then I'm going to go into my documents and I'll put it in SQL Server 2012 BOL or Books Online. OK, and then I'll just tell it to unzip it. And this is going to unzip all this information to right there. Now, I'll need to put this somewhere where it's going to stay. Microsoft recommends you might want to put it on a network share and then everybody who needs it can point to it and run it locally. So anyway, this is going to unzip quite a few things. And you notice it's already created a folder right there that it calls SQL Server 2012 documentation. And once all this has completed unzipping, I'm going to show you the files and then I'll show you how to go out and connect to those. And this is really neat. OK, so they've all successfully unzipped. We'll close that. We'll go into this folder and you'll see here's all these different files and here's a bunch of cab files in here. But what we're going to be looking for is this MSHA, OK, a manifest file. So I'm going to close this. Just remember where I put it. Then I'll go to help and I'll go to manage help settings. And oh, by the way, I have downloaded that books online for you. It's like, I don't know, 290 megs. And I've put it for you out there in your working files folder. So just go take a look at that. You don't have to download it if you don't want to. So notice I'm going to install the content from disk. So I will click this right here. Then I'll browse to that location. Now what I'm going to do is go to SQL Server 2012 BOL Books Online. Go into that folder. There's the manifest file that I need. I'll open that and then I'll click Next right here. Now notice it sees what I need. It sees that I want to get books online. I want to get the developer reference and I want to get information about installation. And so I'll update that and it'll take it just a moment. And instead of downloading, it's just simply going to copy. And right now what it's doing is unpacking all those cab files that opened up there briefly and pointed at. So it's extracting those now. And this is updating the local library. And this will make SQL books online local for me. I like it local because usually I do a lot of my T-SQL development on a laptop and I may or may not be in the office, might be in a hotel room somewhere, might be you know off somewhere on a project that's at a standstill waiting for a meeting and I can work a while so I can just open the laptop up and who knows what kind of shape uh, the internet access is going to be in in some of these places. So I've always got help with me right there. And trust me, you never outgrow SQL books online. So as you can see here, we're updating the local library. It's merging indexes. Sometimes this can take a few minutes. Sometimes it'll go really quickly. I'm hoping it'll go really quickly right here so that I can show you what this is going to look like. And once this installs, then you will always want to make sure that these files that I just pointed to stay in that location.
If you ever move them, it's going to say you can't see it. And you'll have to go back through this process again and add them back to it. And so, editor, what I'm going to do is just wait. We'll just sit here and wait for as long as it takes, unless it's nuts. And you can edit all this out, and then we'll pick right back up once this thing wakes up. I've never seen it take this long. And so notice it is now completed doing all of its magic. It says it has finished updating. And so we'll click finish here. And notice I'll click exit. Now I can go to help, go to view help. And this time it should open up. And with just a little luck, I will see SQL Books Online up there in my help viewer now. It'll take this just a minute to gyrate and get everybody kind of awakened and notice right there. Let me make this full screen so it's a little easier and not so cluttered. Notice here is Books Online. Now, Books Online has been broken up into smaller pieces this time around. Notice here is Getting Started for SQL Server 2012. And here's all kinds of information for me. Uh, here's the database engine. This is what we used to know really as Books Online, and I can expand it here or there. But notice I can search the documentation very easily right up here. So if I have a question, for example, about is null, I can just type it in there, hit enter, and it will go search it. And notice is, is not null. I can just single click here. There is my documentation. I can click on that and scroll down and see examples and see links out to other things as well, like case. And so lots of really cool things going on. But that is how to make SQL Books Online available. You'll have to unzip it, install it, and then point to it with your uh, view, manage help settings. And with that, you'll be good to go with SQL Books Online locally installed.